Midway through a weeks-long curfew to combat youth crime here in Alice Springs, key voices are beginning to weigh in on the question, how do we solve the serious social issues here in the community? For the region's largest Aboriginal health organisation, it's the rehabilitation of kids on the street that needs to be the priority. We've really got to get these kids, these young people and these young kids, and give them a therapeutic response, but it has to be a secure care facility. We can't have, you know, young kids coming and going. They actually have to stay. So we've got a, you know, in a way, a targeted audience that we can work with over the long term for a minimum of 12 months. Our man William Tillmouth is a stolen generation survivor. He says Indigenous empowerment is key. Let the people on the ground decide what they want, what they need, and how can they make their lives so much more fulfilling than just sitting back and saying, we're going to prescribe you a, a solution. We don't want to be the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff. Long term, many agree that closing the gap needs to be a priority, with education at the heart of finding a solution. One of the most important things for people in the medium and long term to change their life trajectory to decrease their reliance on services like police and medical services and other things is to increase school attendance. If we increase school attendance, people will have more opportunity to work. They'll have more opportunity to manage their own lives. This is a really important thing we need to do. So if there's one single grab line we can have, let's worry about school attendance instead of the crime statistics. But one thing is for certain. Everyone agrees it will take decades of work to turn around centuries of disadvantage and disempowerment of Indigenous people. Thomas Morgan, ABC News, Alice Springs.